Cliff jump successful. Sensors online, weapons activated. We're ready to go. Riftbreaker Novak, please report. Houston, this is Ashley, reporting rift jump successful. Roger that. Begin field base setup. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. We've located a carbonium deposit. Okay. Move on to the deposit and start drilling. We don't have enough carbonium to build an HQ. Let's scout for a deposit and set up our base close to it. We need to move quick. It's probably a matter of time before the natives spot us. We've gathered enough resources to construct a headquarters building. Finally, let's place it close to a carbonium deposit. This will help us speed up resource production. HQ construction in progress. Sometimes I wish we could fast forward this part of the simulation. Captain Novak, let me remind you that even though this is a simulated training exercise, you are expected to perform as if it was your real mission on Galatea 37. We need to expand the base. Let's build a carbonium factory to do the digging for us. Yes, we've got much more interesting things to do. Let's automate this. huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants, wind turbines, and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. a lot of movement to the west. We should build up a defensive perimeter around the base. Let's set up some walls and sentinel towers. Focus our defenses on the western direction. They never changed the beginning of this exercise. Captain Novak, we all know your renowned scientific background. But your combat performance in the previous simulation was far from spectacular. Slaughtering indigenous creatures was never my area of expertise. 
Since you've already done this a couple of times, we've introduced some new additions to this course. We'll see what your area of expertise really is.
Carbonium deposit depleted. We have power shortages. Connect more power plants. additional AI hubs to expand our defenses. Remember to build more power plants before you do that. AI hubs consume a lot of energy. Thank you. 
to connect all buildings to the power grid. Energy connectors distribute power to all buildings within their operating radius. These basic defenses should give us a bit of security, but we should try to surround our entire base with walls and defensive towers. Ashley, I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. Not enough AI cores. Build Not more. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. Detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Prepare to fight. We're ready for them, Mr. Riggs. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. Base is under attack. Detecting any more hostile creatures in the base's vicinity. Well done, Captain Novak. The purpose of this training exercise is to prepare you for intense combat situations. This simulation is based on our long distance scans of Galatea 37. They may or may not be accurate. You will be alone out there. There will be no communication back home until you can stabilize a rift portal back to Earth. You will have to rely only on your skills and your mecha suit. Mr. Riggs is the only companion that I need. We can handle the unknown, just let us do our job. expand our base. You can build more defenses, or go out and clear out hostile creatures' nests to prevent further attacks. We didn't have any time to study the creatures that are attacking us. The only thing we can do right now is to fight them or strengthen our defenses. We'll need a steel factory to build more towers. We'll have to find an ore deposit to build one. This looks like a large deposit of ore. Build a steel factory in this area, and power it with a carbonium power plant. Thank you. 
Okay, Mr. Riggs, we've got steel production up and running. Ashley, I would strongly advise you to place a rift portal near this factory. This way, we can quickly get back to this location if it comes under threat. It would also be advised to place additional sentinel towers to defend this outpost. Remember to connect the towers to the power grid using energy connectors. Sentinel towers are ready. They should be able to fend off small groups of attackers. Carbonium deposit depleted.
construction finished. We can now use it to craft new items. It will also automatically manufacture ammunition for my weapons. is under attack. We have power shortages. Connect more power plants. Select any of the available rift portals to instantly teleport to that location. Traveling through rifts is almost instant and doesn't consume any resources.